Hi, this is Brendan. Welcome to another Two Minute PD. This again is going to be a long one, uh, but shouldn't be that long. We're going to talk about Google Classroom, and Google Classroom is just classroom.google.com. We all have it uh, as part of the NSD2 and RBCHS domains. To create a class, you go over here to the right, click the plus, and you have a join class or a create class. So we're going to create a class, and this is going to, going to be the seventh grade team. Um, and I can add a description here, but I don't need to. And I'm just going to create the class. And that was it. It's as simple as that to create the class. Now I can customize it a little bit um, by clicking the theme. I can choose basic patterns, or I can choose from these wonderful pictures, or you can even upload your own photos. So I'm just going to grab a picture, click Select Theme, there it is. So my class is created. If I want to assign something, I click here, and there's a tour again. And then I can attach a file folder, a folder. I can attach something from Google Drive. I can attach a link, or I can attach a YouTube video. I'm not going to assign anything yet. I am going to find students. Now I can invite students by um, clicking Invite and then grabbing a group or typing in contacts that I have already had. So I have groups. I can invite a whole group at one time. Or I can invite students individually. And with this code right here, let's grab that code and copy it. And I'm going to tell the students to join this class. So let me find that student. Here is a student. The student is going to classroom.google.com and because it is uh, on our NSD2 two domain uh, and you can't have students sign into the classroom with um, uh, uh, outside their private emails because it, it just won't let them they're not part of it so I'm going to start using it as a student and I'm going to click here and enter the code. There's the code. Click Join. And voila, there's the classroom. There's the picture, picture of the teacher. They can go through the tour if they want. And you can see what the student looks like. So I'm going to change this a little bit here. So here's the teacher on the 7 teacher on the left, student on the right. Now the teacher wants to assign some work, so they're going to grab some work from their drive. What do you drive? And then um, you look for your assignment. So here's my assignment. And boom. So sharing settings. You can choose how to share this with your class. Students can view the same file. Students can view and edit the same file. Each individual student gets their own copy. All right. So I don't necessarily have to make it read only, though a lot of times that's a good idea. Right here, students can view the file, edit the file, make a copy for each student. All right. So I can choose to make a copy for each student. The due date is March 13th, so I want to change that to whenever it's due. This one is going to be tomorrow at a time whatever. And now I should be able to click assign. But yeah, all right, I need to put the title of the assignment in here. Once I get the title in there and description if I want. So test assignment and then I can assign it and it's done. So now we can switch back to the student view. So it's due test assignment. I have one not done. I may zero have done. You can see over here it's popped up. One day assignment has been posted. So due tomorrow test assignment. So I can view all of my assignments and click the assignment. It's going to be 
take me to the assignment. Look, it's due tomorrow. It's red. Little exclamation point. Hey, it's due. It's due. It's due. I can click open. There's 12 different ways of clicking open. Now remember, we had it make a copy for every student, so every student would have their own copy already. Here's my assignment. Still hasn't caught me yet. Click on it. And it opened up. And I can see my assignment. This is the assignment. Click File, Make a Copy. So I don't have to do that because that was already done. Uh, change the name of the file to your name, 7th grade. So I'm going to change this to, you can see this is staff account. So it's already added my name. So when it made a copy for each person, it added the student's name on there already. So I don't have to do that. There's a video to watch. Uh, what's my work? Make assignments. Make some changes to these directions and turn it in. So I made some change changes by just deleting these and that's done. And then I'm going to turn it in. So I'm, I'm not going to share it back because it's already shared with me as the teacher. Right? So it's shared with Brendan Murphy. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to click turn it in. <coughs> Boom. And it's turned in. And you should see over here, this should flip from one not done to one done. And that's it. So that's an assignment. Student says, oh, wait, I forgot something. They unsubmit it. Okay. Add a private note to your teacher. Oh, I forgot something. And click unsubmit. Now it's taking it away from the teacher. This should flip back. One not done. Student can go back and make some more work. Now let's say the student wants to create something new or add a presentation that they've already made. You can click the pr create. So if I'm going to create a document, I'm in the test assignment document. So it's going to create a new document in a second here. It's still creating, so give it a second. All right, so it's finally created something, and you see here was the original one that I had assigned the student, and it was named 7th grade test assignment, and Google Classroom added the student's name on the end. Student decided to create their own assignment. It's called test assignment with the student's name on it. And you notice that it's just a completely blank document. So it, it is for the same um, assignment, but it doesn't have the directions that I had originally created, which were over here. They can also just click and go to the Google Drive or link something they made offline or upload a file that they created. You know, maybe they made a PowerPoint, they can just upload it. You'll notice right here it says files you add or create can be viewed and edited by your teacher. So it's automatically doing the assignment work for you, the, doing the sharing work for each assignment for you. And then a student can turn it in. So now I'm going to turn it in. Two attachments are being submitted. Turning them both in. And we'll watch over here. It goes from one not done to one done and zero not done. So there you go creation of your Google Classroom, adding your students via code, and then creating your first assignment, and the student turning it in. A lot of good stuff here, uh, really easy for anyone to do.